to the garage. We're finally back out here, gonna turn some wrenches on that Mustang. Uh, now I say finally gonna turn some wrenches, but we've been doing some little stuff over the last few months that I just kinda wanted to condense down before we got to the good stuff today. Uh, but check this out. So uh, the power is out today, so we're gonna go back to some old footage. Um, we did a few things in the Mustang. We got the suspension off the front, so that we can go ahead and get start getting some new stuff on, which is what we're gonna be diving into today. And we also took the whole front end apart so that we can go ahead and paint that engine bay and check out those things. And then we're gonna go ahead and get ready. Let's get some suspension on it here in a second. Um, we kind of cleaned it up a little bit, kind of pressure washed everything kind of the best we could. And so now we're gonna actually start disassembling some stuff. So this is kind of what we're, what we're starting with. Uh, it's cleaned up and we're gonna try to kind of clean everything out of here for now. Um, we have some stuff that's gonna be going on underneath. For now we're gonna be taking everything apart so that we can actually paint this whole engine bay. So um, yeah, hang out with us for the day, see what we can get done. All right, so the Mustang's coming apart. We, we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this engine bay painted before we start shoving stuff in because we are. This is what we got out here. You kind of saw us taking out a bunch of the wiring and stuff the other day. We still got the main body loom up in here. Um, we're gonna see if we can't get that to sit a little bit better. I took out most of my like aftermarket wiring I'd done for various little modifications I'd done to it so I can kind of redo everything all at the same time, trying to make it look nice. Um, we're gonna try to figure out how to cover up that hole. That's where the AC lines ran in. Uh, we're not gonna be running AC, so we're gonna block this guy off. And then we gotta block this guy off. That's where the original loom harness kind of came through. Um, and possibly even that guy down there, that's where the AC drain was. We gotta leave that one though, that's here. Anyway, so we got to see about scraping, cleaning the rest of this and kind of prepping this for paint. And then we're going to do a little bit more even. We're going to try and take off the fenders and the bumper pretty much to get the fenders. So that way we can actually paint the whole radiator support, aprons, firewall, the whole nine yards here. So it's coming. Now inside is kind of a nightmare. So we got the whole condenser, heater core, HVAC system out of it. That's over there on the ground. So that way I can kind of get the heater core replaced since we were out anyway. And uh, yeah, columns out, the whole interior is gone. Now you saw, we got the engine bay painted. Uh, it's the metallic gray. And uh, we got the suspension off, was the last thing you saw. Now, since then, we got the subframe installed. This is the BMR subframe uh, for the 79 to 93. Uh, we got that on here. And then also when we were taking front, apart the front end, the front bumper header plate just was was all cracked. It had always been cracked since I owned the car. I think it got hit in the left front corner uh, before, I, before I bought it. But uh, yeah, once I took it apart, it was kind of trashed. So uh, what we're doing is we actually got an arrow nose. We're gonna go swap over to like the newer LX style look. And uh, so this is just kind of mocked up on here, but it fits. We got to get some new of uh, the lower plates down here for the fenders to actually match up. And so I can actually get the plates to make this all bolt together. So that's that for now. Um, it's just kind of up here on the way, on the car, out of the way. So here's some of the goodies that we're putting on. 
we got the tubular control arms. Uh, replacing the stamped steel ones with the rubber bushings that are all worn out. These would be a good upgrade. And instead of going with the regular springs and struts and everything, uh, which were very worn out on the car, we got some coilovers here from SR Performance. They're from American Muscle. Um, pretty excited to see how these go. Uh, we'll be getting these on the car and seeing how that handles eventually. We'll be able to adjust height. We'll be able to adjust the actual uh, dampening and all that kind of stuff. So these would be cool. Uh, also, Basically, while we were waiting to get everything done, you know, all our bolts for the suspension all kind of labeled in bags and everything, and we made sure to get those all cleaned up so that way, hopefully, this goes together nice and smooth. All right, one more thing we're doing while we're at it is uh, I was tired of the way the four lug wheels were fitting, and also the brakes were nothing special on this car. It kind of has these really tiny little rotors, and uh, so what we did, we got some spindles from a 95 Mustang out of the junkyard. That we're going to be putting on here and ultimately we're probably going to upgrade these brakes and stuff but that's going to be a little bit later for now we're just getting a five lug on it so i went with this sr kit for a couple of different reasons uh both of them like uh cost effectiveness really so with this kit not only do i get a coil over with height adjusting and all that stuff there was the dampening we already talked about but then also it comes with these kind of caster camber plates like top hats that it goes comes with and so you just get a lot more adjustability. So that way, when we take it in to get alignment, it's gonna be a lot easier for them to get us in spec, even if I go super low or something like that with it. It is a little more complicated to put in, but it's really not too bad. They got a video on the uh, American Muscle website, kind of walks you through all of it. Pretty good. I think that we've all had enough. Keeps you up at night, yeah. Make all the demons quiet, yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah. All right, so it's been a day of wrenching and uh, we made a lot of progress on this thing. We got, uh, we already had the subframe in, come on down. You see, we got our coilovers in. Now these aren't really all the way adjusted yet because I want to get the, the engine in there so I can set it down on the weight and do ride height and all that kind of good stuff to get that adjustment done. Uh, but they're in at the factory adjustments and everything. We got the control arms, the tubular BMR control arms. They're on down here. We got the ones without the cups in them for the springs because obviously we don't need that. We got coilovers. Uh, we got the spindles all on, which so these were a 95 Mustang GT spindle. Went right on, no problem. And as a matter of fact, it looks like when I was lining up the lines and everything, the brake lines and everything from a 95 GT, we'll just go on and on to an 85 too. So that's good to know. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, part of what I did too on my steering rack down here, is we got offset bushings in our steering rack, poly offset bushings from uh, energy suspension uh, because I plan on making the car pretty low and so that's supposed to actually make the geometry more right because it raises your steering rack up so that way you're better here. We got that all in, um, went in pretty nice actually, nicer than it came out, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see, we got our iBox sway bar on here with our poly bushings and all that good stuff. And yeah, we're pretty much ready to rock. Um, now we're gonna just put some wheels on. This is gonna be the first time five lug wheels have been on this Mustang, so let's see how that goes. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. And there we are. We got the SN95 wheels on here. They're the 17s off of like a later model GT, I think like a 97, 98. Uh, seem like they fit pretty good for now. Um, but yeah, that's about all we got for you today. We got the SN95 brakes, we got the whole tubular suspension, sway bar upgrade, all that good stuff. Uh, stay tuned next time. We're going to be putting some five lug stuff on the rear of this thing and uh, getting some brakes working, all kinds of stuff. A lot of project to go on this thing. Stay tuned for that on further episodes of Tacky Garage. Thanks for watching. Of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best
who treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything.